of the application. Five for nine is in first one. Yes, copy that one. Permit me to not to indicate that we are arguing the application dated the second of October. With the father of Gabby Lordship having been filed this afternoon through the court's email. We got you from the onset with heavy heart Lordship that we have moved you through these mechanisms. And that the Lordship, my submissions are the submissions of my plan, and that I am just a vessel for putting a Approve my client's case. The Lordship is a notice of motion that seeks the recusal of this bench. The same Lordship is supported with an affidavit and an extra. Equally, the further affidavit is supported by two annexures. In my submission to Lordship, I will heavily rely on the facts contained therein, the 22nd of October, the Lordship is married. I'll begin by indicating and relying on the judicial service code of conduct and the ethics regulation 2020, and I draw the attention of the court to regulation 47. Regulation 47, your Lordship, states that a judicial officer may recuse himself or herself in any proceedings in which his or her impartiality might reasonably be questioned. Where the judicial officer, one, is a part of the proceedings, B, was or is a material witness in the matter in controversy, C, has personal knowledge of this heated uh, evidentiary facts <laughs> concerning the proceedings, D has actual bias or prejudice concerning a party. E has personal interest or is in relationship with a person who has a personal interest in the outcome of the matter. F has previously acted as, as counsel for a party in the same proceedings. G is precluded from hearing the matter. H, a member of the judicial officer family, has economic or other interest in the outcome of the matter in question. A refusal by a judicial officer shall be based on specific grounds to be recorded in writing as part of the proceedings. Your Lordship, it is my client's, the petitioner's case, that this bench should recuse itself on the ground contained therein. Permit me to begin by indicating that yesterday when the court was delivering its ruling, it indicated actual bias on the part of the parties before you, Your Lordship. The petitioners were condemned in a wholesale, in disparaging language coming from the bench, a language that indicated prejudice or bias on the part of the petitioners. It was indicated by the, the bench in Lordship that despite the heavy submissions, the authorities that we quoted, we quoted, we were not addressing the bench but addressing the gallery. It is so prejudice your Lordship that such perception on the part of the petitioners culminated into the court not even taking note 
of most crucial issues that you had submitted on. For example, despite the, 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 the appeal that is now being launched, the court failed to take into not, uh, it, uh, notice of the question of delegated authority. It's to consider submissions in Lordship that had it not been for the bias and the prejudice that the court has on the part of the petitioners, such would not have escaped the mind of the court. The Lordship further, the court made further remarks that they take great exceptions to the remarks of the petitioners. <coughs> when the court indicates that they take great exceptions to the remarks of the petitioners, it's a prima facie indication that the court has descended, descended into the arena of dispute and that the court therefore becomes or takes a defensive approach in the manner in which the prosecution of the case is being conducted. Your Lordship, a judge must at all particular time be a solemn person, slow to anger, and of good temperament. Your Lordship, a statement indicates that the court has taken a position as against the respondents, the, the petitioners. And the position is prejudicial to the petitioners and erodes their confidence to continue appearing and making submissions before this court. It was the observation of these honorable court your lordships that my client indicates that the court made further findings that the petitioners were not pursuing the urgency of the applications. What a reasonable man, a bystander, a fair-minded person, listening to these statements, internalizing them, will come to a conclusion that the court has taken a hard position on or against the petitioners. The test of a fair-minded person, your lordship, my lord, we really need to intervene, but my colleague, Idi, is had time for it. So let him tell you how, yes, the ruling you issued would be a basis for an application that was out long before that ruling. You know, she, if he may be patient, he'll have the, his chance to bite the cherry and respond in that manner he so thinks that he should. You know, she, the application has also indicated that Justice E. Ogona is closely associated with his spouse who serves in the Water Kenya Towers Agency. The avowance of our client's theology is that this is a matter that ought to have been disclosed at the exception of the proceedings. Let me, let me, let me get you right. You, you mean the judge is closely associated with what? That is not right. So that the court may not again misquote me. The lordship, the spouse of his lordship. One Florence Oloch Auma. Did you depart to that issue? Yes. There's a disposition to that yes, issue. Yes, there's a disposition of that issue. That Florence is the wife? Yes, there is. Paragraph? Yes, paragraph. <laughs> paragraph 13 of the Tafotin Affidavit. As read with. Paragraph 11 of the Father Affidavit. She holds a position in the Kenya Water Towers Agency, an appointment that was done pursuant to the Gazette notice 
number 7515 of 2013. For and on behalf of the presidency, by its your final year. The Lordship, it may be, it may go on record that the six respondents who initiated or made these appointments is a party in these proceedings. And that the parties. No, my Lord, that is not for I'm, 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 I'm not getting you right, and I'm sorry for that. Where are you lost, my Lord? Yeah. Uh, if I'm looking at the same document as you, yes. The Gazette notice seven five one five was issued on the seventh day of June twenty twenty three by Soipan Tunya. That's correct. Cabinet Secretary for Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry. That's correct. The sixth respondent in this proceedings is who? Is the is the president? Then where is the next? I I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. The Lordship. The cabinet under the constitution is constituted of the president, and the cabinet secretaries appointed there rather, and the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. That's your pan Tuya is an agent of the presidency. Your Lordship. One of the issues that was before the impeachment was that the deputy president, the petitioner here, indicated that Kenya is a shareholding country. There are shareholding agreements before you, and that positions either in parastatals or corporations were to be shared in accordance with that share agreement. Well, that is the reason why he's going to got impeached. Given an opportunity to respond. Even if you are eating, Mr. Yamon, take your call. Your Lordship, it is by plan submissions that Florence Auma Polwoch may have been a beneficiary of that shareholding. Your Lordship, finally, Your Lordship, we have just a minute. It is extremely unfair and unjust, especially for an advocate to mislead or what you are saying to play to the gallery. Can you read paragraph 12 of the affidavit? So that he does, does not know. Yes. Let's hear it from him, where he says that the state board is chaired by the president who has. So, can you kindly do it properly so that you don't try to hide your presentation? No, 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 no. Hold on. Your honors, your the truth is, leadership and my lords, they will have time, as you say, no. to respond and say all these things. If he's saying nonsense, they'll stand up and say so. But this constant interruption is intended to derail this hearing. Let them respond when the time comes. Or yes. And we, have, we, and we have to hold the condescending nature of the respondents. Yeah. Everybody here has been instructed by a client either to speak sense or nonsense. nonsense. <laughs> so, that being the case, the condescending attitude is completely objectionable. And everybody should take their seat and use their time with the sense. If sense can only come from them, they do it during their time. Thank you very much. <laughs> can, I can I finish? Can I finish? But what I Protected by my and the rest will be granted. Let's finish what I was saying. You will have your time. I know you will have your But please, this is the application being presented. Let's not have other things that have been said. I'm not just one thing. Your Honor, 